Mr. Gloomingdale's downpour. Mr. Gloomingdale was always in a terrible mood. Something was always making him grumpy. It's too sunny. It's too windy. It's too dark. He lived in a tiny cottage surrounded by bright, beautiful giant daisies that always had smiles on their faces. This didn't stop him from being grumpy. Even looking outside at the daisies did not improve his mood. Every time Mr. Gloomingdale left his house, the daisies would be waiting for him, smiling happily to say hello. No matter how much they smiled, they could never seem to cheer him up. He sometimes thought that they were smiling because they found his grumpy moods funny. They didn't find them funny, they were just trying to make him happy. As well as the daisies, there were many little creatures who lived round his cottage. Just like the flowers, they always seemed to be having a good time. Mr. Gloomingdale was not having a good time. Being surrounded by such happy creatures would just remind him about how grumpy he was feeling. How could everybody around me be so happy when I'm so grouchy? He bellowed. Can't they see that I'm in the most terrible mood? Nobody seems to care. On a day that he was so grouchy he could hardly stand it, a mysterious leaflet arrived in his letterbox. There was a message on it, which said, Make your life wonderful. Do you have a wish you'd like to come true? Follow the directions on this invitation. I don't know about wonderful, Mr. Gloomingdale said, and it sounds like nonsense. If it's not, though, it might be a way to stop all this annoying happiness. Then I can be grumpy in peace. He then stomped out of his cottage and out his front gate, past the smiling daisies and little creatures, who were all still happy to see him. He followed the directions on the leaflet, walking further and further away from his home, until he came across a large cluster of trees. As he walked beside them, he noticed it was getting very dark and very cold. Mr. Gloomingdale was about to complain about how grumpy the cold and darkness were making him feel when he noticed something made of grey stone, a little further away amongst some trees. Walking closer towards it, he found that it was a small stone wishing well, with a sign above it saying, Try your luck, make a wish, but do so wisely. Make a wish, grumped Mr. Gloomingdale. Do so wisely, he grouched. I've got a wish to make all right. He took a big golden coin out of his pocket. Holding it up, he proclaimed, I wish that the sky above me could have no sunshine and cheer, as long as I'm in this grumpy mood. He then dropped the coin into the well, and it landed at the bottom with a little splash. For a moment, Everything was silent. Then, as he started to walk away, he heard a low rumbling noise, almost like thunder. And rain started to pour from above, right onto his head. Mr. Gloomingdale ran home as fast as he could, with rain pelting him all the way. He ran straight past the smiling daisies without even stopping to grump at them, not noticing that they were not being rained on. He kept running until he reached the inside of his little cottage, slamming the door behind him. Mr. Gloomingdale was soaking wet, and now grumpier than ever. Looking outside, he noticed something very strange. Even though it had been raining hard on him, and he was dripping wet, everywhere he looked outside, it was still as bright and sunny as ever. He stepped outside and it started to rain on him again, while everywhere around him the sun was still shining. Mr. Gloomingdale's wish had come true. The sunshine was gone from above, but only from above him. This went on for a very long time. Every time Mr. Gloomingdale went outside his cottage, there was a downpour above his head, while everywhere else around him, the daisies and creatures would be smiling in the bright, warm sunlight. He had to start wearing a big yellow raincoat and a yellow waterproof hat to keep from being drenched. 
He thought he looked ridiculous wearing this outfit, which made him livid. Now I really have something to be cross about, he grumbled. Mr. Glimmingdale felt so cross that at first he didn't notice that things were beginning to change around him. It was starting to get sunnier and sunnier, and hotter and hotter. It was getting so hot that the daisies and little creatures were no longer looking very cheerful. They were all looking very hot, and had started to droop, as if they needed some rain themselves. The daisies, especially, would not survive if they didn't get any water soon. This thought didn't make him grouchy, grumpy, or even irritated. Mr. Gloomingdale realised that the thought of his bright, colourful flowers not greeting him happily every day suddenly made him feel very, very sad. He became so sad that he let his head fall and dropped his umbrella to the side. When he did this, a little rain fell from above him onto one of the daisies. The daisy, feeling the water, started to stir. This gave Mr. Gloomingdale an idea. He stood over more of the daisies, lowering his umbrella to let the rain from above him fall onto them. He did this to each of the daisies, and to each of the little creatures, until one by one, they started to revive. Once they were all feeling better, some wonderful things happened. The rain above Mr. Gloomingdale's head began to slow from a downpour, to a drizzle, to a trickle, until it stopped altogether. The sun, too, was no longer so terribly hot. It was back to being bright and warm. When he saw that he'd helped everybody, and how happy he'd made them, this made Mr. Gloomingdale smile. He noticed something else, too. For some reason, he didn't feel grumpy anymore.